This is the Barbados Today Morning News for Friday, October 4. Thank you for joining us. I am Mary Claire Williams. Our top story, local businesses are bracing for thousands of dollars in losses if shipping companies refuse to waive storage fees incurred as a result of teething problems caused by the implementation of the new Asecuta World System. This resulted in dozens of containers being stuck at the Bridgetown port. They will raise the matter at a meeting with the Comptroller of Customs today. The companies are also concerned about new customs tariffs, which could cause the cost of certain goods to increase by 100%. Kareem Smith reports. President of the Barbados Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Trisha Tanis, said she would be better able to address the issues after today's discussions. However, Andy Armstrong, marketing director of major distributor Armstrong Agencies Limited, told Barbados today some operations at the port have been settled. While Armstrong does not deal directly with problems relating to imports, he said numerous complaints which were initially being lodged by his staff about the system over the last few weeks have subsided. In the meantime, however, businesses have expressed concern that some cargo vessels have not agreed to waive their own charges which resulted from containers being stuck in the port for extended periods. Many are reportedly waiting on port officials to employ moral suasion to assist in having them waived. Kareem Smith for Barbados Today. The chairman of the Transport Authority is reviewing the controversial five-minute rule for public service vehicles operating from the Constitution River Terminal. Under the rule, PSVs are limited to five minutes in the loading bay. Chairman of the Transport Authority, Ian Estwick, says the authority's board of management will make the final ruling on the matter. Estwick's comments came 24 hours after he reported that the rule was being enforced. His comments came as a shock to the two bodies which represent PSV owners and operators, the Alliance of Owners of, Trans of Public Transport and the Association of Public Transport Operators. They said they presented their proposals to the authority's acting director, Maria Boyce, at a meeting on Monday, and they were promised that their concerns would be presented to the board. But Estwick told Barbados today the board will have the final say on the matter. The unfair dismissal case brought by the former General Secretary of the National Union of Public Workers, Rosalind Smith, last July against the union has begun. Five days after the union officially announced her retirement, Smith alleged that she was unfairly dismissed, and she's claiming close to half a million dollars in compensation. This was confirmed in a letter dated October 2nd, written by the, secret by the General Secretary of the Unity Trade Union, Senator Caswell Franklin, to the Chief Labor Officer. NUPW President Akani McDowell told Barbados Today that both sides met with the Labor Department on September 20th when the case was was presented. He did not go into detail about the mediation, but noted that the matter is being addressed. We are not going to speak much about what has, hap what has happened already or what is supposed to happen because we are still negotiating. And the union, even without a, without a case like this, has a policy that once we are negotiating, we keep things under wraps until negotiations have been completed. The former governor of the Central Bank of Barbados, Dr. Delisle Worrell, is making a case for using U.S. currency to invest in Barbados. In his October newsletter, Dr. Worrell argued that all business investments have to be financed in foreign currency as the domestic currency cannot be used to acquire essential inputs from abroad. All investment of necessity requires a substantial proportion of foreign finance. This means that the Barbados dollars in banks cannot be put to use in financing investment projects. For that, the banks will need to receive a larger supply of foreign exchange from tourism, international business, manufactured exports or other sources. It also means that new investment cannot be funded with the savings of local companies or individuals. Domestic savings are in local currency. In order to do any investment, the saver has to acquire foreign currency in addition to or in exchange for their savings. There's regional and international news after this short break. 
It's Festive Friday at the Bridgetown Night Market at Pelican Craft Center. Kick off the weekend this Friday from 4 p.m. to midnight with loads of food, drinks, and entertainment. Get ready for crop over with the Rhythm Root Street Parade. Party like it's Kadooman Day on the street around Pelican Village with costume revelers, music, and more. It's Festive Friday. It's Festive Friday at the Bridgetown Night Market at Pelican Village Center from 4 p.m. to midnight. Admission free. Barbados Today, news you can trust. Thank you for staying with us. In news from the region, Trinidadians are having their say on the upcoming budget. The fiscal package will be presented on Monday. We get more in this TTG News report. I said the budget comes is a condensed milk budget. That's all. You have nothing. They can't tax nothing because they tax everything already. And while some people have little expectation, others said crime is of major concern. The economic situation is not all great. So for the average middle class poor man, we're hoping to see something for lower taxes. We, we want to see something done about crime. Everybody's frightened. Nobody wants to come out anymore. Everybody lives behind lock, lock gates and closed doors. Children don't want to play outside anymore. And what about protection for consumers? One member of the public says maxi and taxi operators need to be regulated. Maxi taxis do what they want and nobody has control about anything. Prices in, 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 in our shops, groceries and all that. People charge what they want. We have no control over that. Hopeful members of the public are also calling for easier access to more affordable homes. And finally, the European Union says it is open but not convinced by Boris Johnson's new proposal for a new Brexit deal. President of the European Council, Donald Tusk, was among several leading EU voices to raise doubt over Johnson's withdrawal agreement plan. The plan would keep Northern Ireland in the EU single market for goods, but see it leave the customs union. But what happens to the border between Northern Ireland and Ireland remains a central sticking point. The Irish Prime Minister says the new plans for a deal were welcome, but they fall short on a number of aspects. That's news this morning, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbadostoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, and like us on Facebook, and sign up for our breaking news alerts via WhatsApp. We're also on Izumi Media in bus terminals and screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. You can also find us on Mix 96.9 FM and Capital Media HD 99.3 FM. I am Marie Claire Williams. Good morning.